Oh, yes. I wanted to kind of give you kudos about your video winning, and I don't. I want to get this right as well, the Here Now Video Festival Awards. Is that right? Here and see. Here and see. See, I yes. forgot that. Here and see. Video Festival Awards, and that was for Drown Out? Yes. And that must have been fun. Yeah, it was fun, but nothing ever came of it, because I think they fell off the face of the earth. They never even updated their website. And Well, you know, that's funny. <laughs> I did kind of notice the last thing was, we won't even say what year yeah, it was. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's on the website, and, yeah. you know, people are, you know, Ron, who directed it, is, you know, plugging it here or there. Mm -hmm. um, it's getting film, featured at the Carborough Film Festival Good. this weekend. Oh, cool. And it's won a few different other things, too, that actually mm -hmm. have given something in return, like money, <laughs> instead of just, awesome, like money. you're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, are you going to add acting to your list of uh, job descriptions? <laughs> well, actually, um, that was what I started out doing before music. I was in really? a lot of musicals, in the leads in musicals in high school, mm -hmm. and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to act. And I went to UNCG. That's why I came to UNCG was for acting for the first year and a half. And that's and I found out that that wasn't for me. The energy was just bad and way too in a bad way competitively. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so I switched to anthropology and focused on music and culture. That's a natural switch. <laughs> <laughs> right. How did you get into anthropology? Well, I was always in love with Indiana Jones movies, and so I really liked archaeology. <laughs> and so I was like, ooh, they have a really, they have some cool, mm -hmm. I took Intro to Physical Anthropology, and it was really awesome. And it just hooked me, um, studying uh -huh. bones and, and all that, but I ended up going the more cultural route, um, not the archaeology. Um, right. With the music. Yeah. Um, so... Well, sometimes I ask people off the cuff for something unusual that very few people might know, and I think knowing that you're we're into Indiana Jones might fall into that category <laughs> for me. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. All right. Um, I read a little bit about the fact that you're trying to get to the U.K., Yes, hopefully Is next that, year. That's still on the books? You're still got that out there? Yes, probably not in the spring because I haven't actually started booking yet. Uh, because <laughs> I've been really, why not? <laughs> what else could you possibly have to do? We are planning an East Coast tour again, a Northeast tour. V uh, very Northeast, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, so I've been doing that, um, but hopefully get to the UK in you know late summer or something like that. Yeah. Have you mm -hmm. ever been? Yes, but not to play. But not to play. Mm -hmm. So this has got to be very exciting, thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. And you might actually get to meet this woman who calls you pleasantly bonkers. I think so. i got to work that so. into yeah. this thing several times, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That would be very cool. I think it'll be an easier shot if she's played us before. Are you doing anything like Indiegogo or Kickstarter or anything to try to fund that? How I will, you... yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool. I just need to get a video first. It shouldn't be too hard. I just need to get on it. You have an award-winning video already. <laughs> oh, but it needs to be a little more pertinent, I guess, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. Like, hey, this is what I'm doing, and this is what you can get if you help support us, all that, that kind of video. Right. But actually, we're, um, there's another music video, actually, being in the, being, um, in the process of being mm -hmm. filmed. We still have a couple of scenes, but we filmed a lot of it at the Greensboro Fair. Oh. Um, with a lot of people and um, in some other various places, but it's supposed to be set in the 70s and where Carney's and there's like this whole plot that goes down. I'm, I'm excited to see that one. Is it with the same director? Yes. And his name was? Ron Royster. Ron Royster. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Anytime we might get to see that? Hopefully in the next couple months. Yeah? Uh, hopefully. Maybe like Christmas? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Or not. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, well, tell us where we can find you online. You have a website, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, it's just crystalbrightandthesilverhands.com. That's pretty easy. Very easy. <laughs> of course, you have to get the name right, not like I did at the beginning. Um, do you have any... I mentioned the showcase, but you said you don't have much going on show-wise now. Um, well, some... 
Tonight we're playing in Charlotte, and tomorrow my art gallery, actually here in Greensboro. You have an art gallery? No. <laughs> Maya Art Gallery. Maya, okay. Yes, on Tate Street for Femme Fest. And that's tomorrow night? Yes. Okay, I don't think we'll get this up by tomorrow no, night. But... but I'm also going to be doing the cover show. The with cover show? At the Blind Tiger uh -huh. um, with Lee Wallace, um, who... I'm, who we did the benefit, who we raised funds for last cover show for his long transplant. Okay. Um, well, we've been waiting to do Susie and the Banshees with him, so he's finally up to it, and we're going to do Susie and the Banshees. I'm not familiar with the cover show. Oh, Should it's this I big, be? huge thing that happens every year. Well, <laughs> can you tell me a little bit more about it so I know what it's well, about? Well, I think Joe Garrigan started it, mm -hmm. and um, it's usually to, to raise funds for, was it? The animal shelter at first, mm -hmm. and so and the I think the last couple of times has been to help Lee with the lung transplant, um, uh, which okay. is pretty intense. So and it's happened with some regularity yearly. Yeah, twice a year. Twice a year. Okay. For how many years? Six or seven. Six or seven. Yeah. We're getting information from <laughs> behind the curtain. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I'm really excited that about happen? that. December 15th. December 15th at... The Blind Tiger. At the Blind Tiger. Wow, mm -hmm. very nice. And I'm also doing Scott Frey's show, Awake, Awake in White the White and, and Wintry, Wintry Queen. Queen. You have to say that very slowly. <laughs> at the Carolina Theater. Do they have a date set for that yet? The 21st or 2nd or 3rd? Or 3rd, yeah. <laughs> Get back to us on that one. <laughs> that date is that everything's supposed to align and explode. We're all supposed to disappear. Yes. The solstice. It's yes. actually on the solstice. All right. No more questions, but I am going to just shoot one at you off the cuff. Because okay. I said I'd do that kind of thing. <laughs> um, you have your choice. If you could live anywhere in the world right now, where would it be and why? Or if you could spend a day with any person living on the planet today, who would it be? And why? I pick the where. The where. <laughs> okay. That's a hard one. I mean, part of me says, you know, right here, you mm -hmm. know, because that's where I am, and you know, I don't, I don't, I try not to regret things or feel like I should be somewhere where I'm not. I feel like I'm in the right spot at the right time in my life, mm -hmm. right now. Okay. So, you know, eventually, I would like to maybe. So right now I'm cool where I am. Yeah. But eventually, <laughs> I think that's more that what what I was getting at is you know here is a cool place and you're here for a reason. Yeah. But maybe in the back of your mind there is a place that somehow seems like it would suit you for a part of your life. I think either Portugal or France, kind of in the countryside somewhere. Now, you've been to Spain, right? Mm-hmm. Portugal mm -hmm. as well. Oh, so, so you have some history there. In yeah. Thus. Okay. What about France? Were you in France as mm -hmm. well? Okay. Mm -hmm. Portugal or France? I just love the people and the food and the. It was just beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Thank you for your time. Thank Appreciate you for it. having me. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's all for today. We'll be back with more as soon as we can. <laughs>